Scott Kingery was poised to be the Phillies' next big star. He was given comparisons to Phillies' all-time great second baseman Chase Utley. He was given a six-year, $24 million contract before he even played a major league game. What happened to him? Let's dive into the story of failed prospect Scott Kingery. Before we get into this breakdown, leave a like on the video so I know you like this Phillies content. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos in the future. Also, comment down below what you think about this what happened video and should I make it a series. But anyway, let's get right into it. Scott Kingery was selected by the Phillies in the second round of the 2015 MLB draft. To give you a little background on Kingery's skill set, he was a speedy contact hitter who found ways to get on base. He was great at hitting line drives up in the middle and into gaps. Not the greatest power, but he didn't need it with all of his other skills. He was also pretty slick with the glove at second base. 2016 was Kingery's first full season in the minor leagues. He started with the Clearwater Threshers, the Phillies' high A-ball team. During this season, he hit 293 with 29 doubles, 3 homers, and 26 stolen bases in only 94 games. Kingery was promoted to double A later in the 2016 season and batted only 214 in 25 games. Scott Kingery got an invite to spring training in 2017 and made a name for himself. In 10 Grapefruit League games, he hit 286 with 2 home runs and a stolen base. After the spring, he was assigned back to AA. In his first 69 games in AA, Kingery hit 313 with a 379 on base percentage and an OPS of 987. This showed that he was ready for AAA and the Phillies called him up to Lehigh Valley. In his 265 AAA at bats in 2017, Kingery hit 294 with 8 home runs, 21 RBIs, and scored 41 runs. He was later given the Paul Owens Award, which is an award given to the best player in the Phillies farm system. Kingery received another invite to spring training in 2018, but this time it was more likely for him to get a job. In 20 Grapefruit League games, Kingery hit 381 with a 415 on base percentage and a slugging percentage of 725. Because of the promise Scott Kingery possessed, the Phillies signed him to a six-year, $24 million contract and added him to the 2018 opening day roster. In his rookie season, Kingery hit 226 with 8 home runs, 38 RBIs, 55 runs scored, and played numerous positions on the diamond including shortstop, third base, second base, the outfield, and even a pitching appearance. Though it was not the greatest rookie season for Scott, there was still a lot of promise for him going forward. In 2019, Kingery again played the utility role and had a much better production at the plate. He hit 258 with 19 home runs. Things started to look really bright for Kingery as he headed into the 2020 season. The MLB season was cut short by a lot in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic and only 60 games were played. Scott Kingery suffered from COVID and it showed in his play. He only played 36 games during the season and his batting average dipped all the way to 159. Hopefully that was just a fluke year because of the weird schedule and he would get back on track for 2021. Kingery struggled mightily in spring training 2021 and was sent down to AAA to work on some things. His hitting was really struggling, including in the minors. This all circles back to former Phillies manager Gabe Kapler. When Kapler was managing the Phillies, he tried turning Kingery into a launch angle hitter. He thought Kingery had the chance to put up 40 home runs every year. This was just not the case with Kingery's game. He was a line drive, one-handed swinger. But in Kingery's recent appearances in the big leagues, you can see him swinging with two hands on the bat and trying to force the ball up in the air. I believe that this really messed up with his hitting game and he was never fully able to recover from it. Scott Kingery did get some little playing time in 2021 after multiple call-ups and send-downs, but his play was just awful. But he still was only able to get 19 at-bats. He suffered from a concussion which derailed his season fully, and the Phillies ended up designating him for assignment on June 7, 2021. Kingery passed waivers and was outrighted to AAA where he stayed the rest of the season, continuing to struggle. Kingery made one appearance with the Phillies in 2022, a fielding appearance and a game in June against the Brewers, but that was it. He did not get an MLB at bat the entire season. Kingery played okay in AAA in 2022, but not enough to make an impact at the MLB level. Looking forward to 2023, Scott Kingery was invited to spring training as a non-roster invite. There is a shot that he makes the team out of spring training with players like Matt Vieling and Nick Maton off the team. I would love to see Scott Kingery make his revenge tour this season. He is in his last year of his six-year contract, and he had so much potential. This is his final opportunity to get back with the Phillies after a disappointing couple seasons. After all, he is only 28 years old, so if he can get back to his 2019 form, the Phillies might want to take a chance on Scotty Jetpacks.
That's going to do it for this What Happened to Scott Kingery video. Comment down below what you guys thought about this video. Should I do more of these and who should I do them on? Leave a like so I know you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss any new ones. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.